So here we have another example of a different type of mixture problem you might encounter. So you have a dentist, and they need a 3% solution of a local anesthetic to perform a procedure. Um, but there's a problem. You only have 30 fluid ounces of a 4% solution um, in stock, and we need 3%. So one thing you might do is add some neutral solution to make the uh, solution, our, our original 4% solution have a little bit less concentration of the anesthetic in it. Um, so they say um, how much of the neutral solution that contains no anesthetic should be added to the 30 fluid ounces of the 4% solution. So this sets up almost identical to the um, previous example. The only difference is we have to know what this neutral containing no anesthetic means. Well, it means you have a 0% solution. That's one other way to think about it. So we can set it up pretty much the same way. We take the amount of the 4% solution plus the amount of the neutral which I spelled wrong, excuse me, neutral solution. Uh, and that should give us the amount of the 3% solution. So if I take our 30 fluid ounces, right, add it to some amount that I'm going to figure out, I should get how much 3% solution I have. Um, so I need to figure out what my variable is here. So they ask me to find how, they say, how much neutral solution um, do we need? So I'm going to let that be my x. So let x be the amount of neutral solution. Okay. So x is the amount of neutral solution. Um, <coughs> so next, we set it up the same, pretty much the same way we did before. Um, one thing to, way to think about this, the amount of the 4%, I know what that is. They tell us, how much 4% did they tell us we had? 30 fluid ounces. Now when I write my equation, I'm going to leave the, 30, the fluid ounces off because we're working in fluid ounces. Uh, we're not going to worry horribly about the units here. Um, so, if I take this 30 fru fluid ounces and take 4% of it, that will give me how much total of the anesthetic, of the pure anesthetic I have. So, to take 4% of 30, right, you multiply 0 0.04 times 30. Now, when I add that to the amount of neutral solution multiplied by its concentration to give me the amount of anesthetic, well, if you think about it, the amount of anesthetic in a zero, in a neutral solution should be zero. So zero percent, you can think of also as zero percent times x. So it sets up really similarly to the last example. Um, all right, and so to get the amount of, or the three amount of three percent, this should equal if we take the total amount and multiply it by 0 0.03. So what's the amount of 3% solution? Well, that would be our 30 fluid ounces that we had from the 4% solution. And then plus what we add to it, the X amount that we don't know yet, okay, that's the amount of 3%. So these should be equal. So the uh, if we take our total amount and multiply it by 3%, take 3% of that, that's the um, pure amount of pure anesthetic that we have in that solution. And it should be the same as if we took 4% of the 30 that we had and the 0% of the X that we have. We should get the same amount of pure anesthetic. All right, so now all I have to do is solve this equation. It's actually a little bit easier than the last one. So I just have to multiply 0 0.04 times 30. I get 1.2. Um, zero times anything is just zero, even when it's x, because x just represents a number. So, and zero times anything is a number is zero. So, I just have 1.2 plus zero, which is just 1.2. So, I'm going to leave it there. 
And then this guy, again, I have to recall from our solving equations section that I have to use the distributive property. So I'm going to do 0 0.03 times 30 plus 0 0.03 times x. All right. And I could do 0 0.03 times 30. That gives me 0.9. And I solve my 1.2 over here. So I just have to solve this equation. And so I'm going to do that by getting the x's by themselves. So I am going to uh, subtract 0.9 from both sides. Okay. So we're almost there. So 1.2 minus 0.9, if you don't remember how to subtract decimals by hand, just quick, just subtract. So 9 minus 12 gives us 3. We're just lining up the decimals. We get our 0.3 equals 0.03x. And then the last thing I have to do is divide on both sides by the... Um, 0 0.03, so I get 0.3 divided by 0 0.03 is x. So now I just have to do this multiplication. Um, so you should get, when you do the, excuse me, the division, you should get x equals 10. And you it could, in fact, check your work. If you want it, you, all you would do is take this 10 and put it in for x in our equation here. So when I take 0 0.04 times 30 plus 0 times 10, I should get the same answer as when I do 0 0.03 times 30 plus 10, if I did all my work correctly.